Take the deal. Chapter 3. The Hair Ring. As we know, Jane is worried about the security guard and the poker room downstairs. But right now, she has a decision to make. Problem is, she's in two minds. On the one hand, she knows she needs to sell the cookies to Jack's government. She knows her boss Eric is happy with the deal. But on the other hand, Jack's mission to get back up, which is to publish fake news online about Josling and to blame the Russians for it, may not be such a good idea. So she needs to make up her mind quickly. Jack and Jim are still in the office. She looks at Jack and tells him, Honey, thanks for coming. Let me think about it and I'll get back to you with some proposal. Bye, honey. Love ya. And now, looking at Jim. OK, Jim, let's talk now. Why are you wearing these pyjamas to work? asks Jane. Oh, these? These are my inspirational pyjamas. I need inspiration. I have a bit of a problem with a new production line. I'm wearing these pyjamas because they have powers. They make me clever. Jim's pyjamas may or may not inspire Jim, but they immediately inspire Jane. Production line design, that's just what I need. This can be my chance to access the production line and poison the cookies. She looks at Jim and tells him. Jim, you are a great production manager. Why don't you let me help you? I'm a designer. I don't design production lines, but I design digital marketing campaigns. This means I'm creative. So I'm sure I can help you innovate in the production line design. That'd be great! Awesome! I'd love to work with you on this project. Great! It's a deal then. Why don't you send me an email with the production line plans, I'll have a look at them and I'll get back to you with an idea on how to make it look awesome. Wonderful! Says Jim. Right away. Great! I'll get the production line plans. I'll know where to poison the cookies exactly and I get Jim fired very soon. Jim remembers the security guard, the judge, the sexy lady and the people playing poker downstairs. She needs to find out all about that before poisoning the cookies or doing anything else. She has a lot of things to do. She needs a quiet place to think, but not her office. Eric and Jim come to her office all the time. The coffee shop across the street that's where she needs to go. She sits at the table and orders a cappuccino. This can help her think of the best way to pitch this peculiar marketing campaign. She needs to make up her mind. She takes out her notebook and starts writing a list of pros and cons, advantages and disadvantages. Let's see. One clear pro is helping her boyfriend and spending more time with him. On the other hand, somebody may notice they publish fake news. Anyway, getting colleagues' respect and consideration is something very good. However, of course, the public might get angry. Saving the company is a clear win-win, although the government might start an investigation. There's a clear chance to become a heroine. Making a lot of money seems great. On the other hand, she may need a lawyer. Who do I call? Firing Jim. I'd love that. However, they might get arrested. Suddenly, she sees Judge Roll driving out of the car park with a sexy lady in a very expensive black sports car. She stops writing her list, takes her phone out of the bag and starts taking pictures of the car and the two people. 1632. Judge Gerald is coming out of the parking garage. After the judge's car, another car comes out. A bright blue one this time. Jane tries to identify the people inside. One of them is Frances Rousseau, the Minister of Finance. He isn't driving the car, a woman is. At 16.36, Frances Rousseau is driving out of the parking garage. Now a one comes out. Jane recognizes the woman driving the car. 
is the French power supplier CEO Charlotte Breu. What is she doing at Kukiev? What is happening in that storage room? At 1642, Charlotte Breu is leaving the company. Now, a cash truck comes out. Is that cash truck taking the poker money somewhere? At 1647, a black cash truck is driving out. The security guard is driving it. Suddenly, her phone rings. It's Jack. Hi, love. How are you? How's everything? Hi, darling. Listen, I need to give Eric an answer. Look, I won't get my promotion or pay rise until your government makes a first order. So, when you say your government can buy all the cookies we need, what do you mean exactly? Tell your boss, we'll need cookies for all public schools, hospitals, police stations, fire departments and the zoo. I'll make a first order for, let's say, 5 million euros worth of cookies. Would that be okay with you? Wonderful, darling, that's perfect. Okay, I'll tell my boss. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to go now. See you later, love. Bye. Jane doesn't think it's a good idea to tell Jack about the security guard and the storage activities in the company yet. She wants to find out more about it first. Jane goes back to the office to see Eric and tell him about the order. She needs to be brave and pitch her deal in a positive way. Well, what do we have to do? What does Jack want us to do? He wants us to help him inform the public about all the disadvantages of voting for his opponent, Jocelyn Pierre. He wants us to tell the public why voting for Jocelyn is a bad idea. OK, that sounds easy. We can do that, can't we? says Eric. Oh yes, we can. I mean, I can. I want my promotion, remember? But I need help. I need at least 20 people. It's a lot of work. How many packets of cookies can Jack's government buy? He says he can make a first order for about 5 million euros. Great, that's wonderful news. So yes, absolutely, you can hire your 20 people, says Eric, smiling happily. You are a heroine, Jane. You will save this company, girl. You can start with a new intern. Nobody else wants to work with him. Ask him to help you hire the other 19 people you need. Uh, talk to Human Resources directly. I'll be in my office all day. What about my promotion and pay rise? Do I tell Human Resources about it too? Make it official? OK, listen, when Jack's government pays for the first order, we will make a big party and you will get your promotion to marketing manager for the whole of France directly. Now, as for the intern. Tom, come here, please. Tom is the new intern. Tom, you are going to work with Jane now. She's going to tell you what to do. She is now the new marketing manager and she is going to hire 20 people. You are going to do everything she says. Jane finally has a plan. She is going to send Tom to get the washing liquid to poison the cookies with. I need you to help me, Tom. The first thing we need to do is to clean up this room. Please go downstairs to the storage room and get the washing liquid for the pantry room. First of all, we need a fresh environment to work. Then, we are going to design a new workspace for the new 19 people we are going to hire. And we are going to write a job description list for the candidates. Can you do that first? Can you go downstairs and get the washing liquid? Tom says, OK, I'll do it, but so that you know, I'm an intern. But I'm an engineer as well. I can do much more than cleaning, you know. I can help you with other things too. That's good to know. We'll start by cleaning for now. Please go and get the washing liquid. Tom leaves her office. Jane thinks of how lucky she is. She has an intern to send to get the washing liquid. And he's an engineer too. He might be able to help redesign the production line so that she can point on the cookies. Perfect!